peduncle is the... Hi everyone, and thank you for joining me for this week's arranging video with this week's bunch called the Mad Hatter. So cool because I think the colours perfectly evoke all the characters from Lewis Carroll's 1865 book, Alice in Wonderland, especially the Mad Hatter and the Cheshire Cat. So I've got two especially fun stems to show you this week. The first is this brassica called a Crane King, which is a lovely frilly variety and has been grown for us by Sue Lamb in Lincolnshire. It's very pretty indeed. And then this wonderful variety of Lysianthus called Black Pearl, which has got quite a few lateral stems on it, but the colour is just magnificent and goes beautifully with the brassica and the roses. What an amazing colour combination. Now it's time to look after your flowers using these simple steps. Trim a diagonal inch off the end of each stem, use clean room temperature water and a nice clean vase, and do make sure to use clean secateurs or floral scissors as you wouldn't eat with a dirty fork. So to arrange this bunch, we want to start with our shorter focal flowers around the edge, working our way to our taller flowers in the middle. And our shorter focal flowers are our brassica and our roses. And I've made sure to have three of each of those because it's really important to have three or five or odd numbers of your focal stems. So I'm going to begin with our three brassica arranged evenly around the edge. And then very simply, I'm going to fill the gaps with our beautiful roses. I think you'll find this looks rather beautiful already. And then I've got two of the Alstroemeria, which is absolutely fine because they've got multiple flower heads. Uh, and I'm just going to face the two Alstroemeria opposite each other. And what we're creating here is our structural stem grid, or teepee as I like to call it, in the middle of the vase. And now using my teepee, I'm going to stand my taller Lysianthus upright in the middle using the teepee for support. And then my taller irises will stand up very easily in the middle as well. And then to finish, what I tend to like to do is create a sort of Victorian ruff with my foliage or a foliage nest, just tucking them neatly over the edge of the vase. And there we have a very well balanced, beautifully structured, beautifully colourful arrangement. Now, a quick question for you, which part of the flower anatomy is the peduncle? The peduncle is the flower stem. So one thing you could do with last week's arrangement to make them last that little bit longer, and because the colours work well with your new bunch, is to arrange them together into one big arrangement into our hurricane vase. So to do this, I'm going to take the flowers out of last week's arrangement and I'm going to lay them out on the table in their unique stems. And then I'm going to arrange them with the shorter flowers around the outside, moving to the taller ones in the middle. And there we have it, an absolute barn stopper of an arrangement and it is so relaxing and easy to make. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you love getting creative with all your flowers and see you next time.